Now I would like to ask our first speaker, Dr. Max Sinatter, to come to the stage. Dr. Sinatter uh, has received $32 million from the federal government and $25 million from the provincial government to research the brain. He is the founding director of the Brain Research Center, which has over 200 scientists in British Columbia unlocking the secrets of the brain. Dr. Sinatter has helped found two successful biotechnology companies and often speaks publicly about brain research. Please welcome Dr. Max Sinatter. Well, um, thank you very much, Joy. So about three years ago, uh, two physicians uh, were studying patients with stroke at Columbia University. They found that one of these patients had sustained damage to a particular area of the cortex called the insula. It's over here. This patient had, before his stroke, been a pack and a half a day smoker. After the stroke, he completely lost the desire to smoke cigarettes. The way he described it was that after my stroke, my body forgot that I was addicted. So what do we learn from this? What we learn is that addiction is a brain disorder, that there is an underlying biological substrate to addiction, and that it is possible to get at this. To get at this. What subsequently happened is these physicians then looked at lots of other people who'd had lots of different kinds of strokes, and what they found is the more damage you had to your insular cortex, the more likely you were to stop smoking after your stroke. This was then rapidly confirmed in a study in rats, which showed the same thing. Damage to the insula uh, not only uh, eliminated smoking addiction, but also addiction to cocaine and amphetamine. Now, I'm not proposing that we go out and do surgery on people who are addicted, far from it. What I'm telling you is that knowledge is power. Two years ago, two investigators in our brain research center understood, building on these findings and other findings implicating other brain regions like the nucleus accumbens, the ventral tegmental area in addiction, they went out and they developed a peptide. And these two investigators called Yu Chen Wang and Tony Phillips in our brain research center, they developed a pe peptide that basically blocks the cravings of addiction. So again, this is still work in rats, but it's a beginning. The message is that addiction is a brain disease, that there is hope to develop new and potentially revolutionary treatments for addiction, and that understanding the biology addic of addiction can be an important part of the solution to the overall puzzle of this disorder. Thank you.